Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here and welcome back to Feather of Prey. Now, in this video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be going to the true, sorry, not the true ending, the hidden ending of the game, which is also known as the second bad ending. But to do that, we need to be able to experience every single event in the game that allows the POSP percentage to increase to 100% and for the mind to decrease to zero out of a hundred. And I'll be showing you all the spots to be able to do that. And I believe that you need to interact with every single one of these to be able to get to zero. So the first one, obviously, you need to be able to cut or do this, um, do this little puzzle here, which allows the yellow or the grey bell, I've forgotten which one now, to be ripped off. But obviously this is a mandatory event, you need to be able to do this so that you can uh, progress through the game. And that takes away three of your mind. So the second one I'm going to show you right now is to do this bottle. Now interact with it and then the other bottles around you will break and also a laughter will approach itself. Or just appear. Sad and shrill cry can be heard far. So that does that and we lost four out of that one. Okay, so just keep that in mind. We lost four of those. So the next one will be... Yeah, the next one happens after this blue flame appears. And this is another mandatory event which you cannot avoid. You need to do this to be able to progress through the game. Oops, I did not mean to click F1. You know what happens when you click F1. A little bar appears where you can disable and enable the sound effects and music of the game. So, these bears, look, 93, we interact with one. And we need to be able to interact with these several times to get out of it. And now our mind is decreased by three. So, that one, watch out. Come on, just a little forward. But before we do that, we want to revert back to this room because there's another event which will decrease our mind. A book that you can't read, but it says notice here, I believe. Oh, this door is locked. Okay, good. Okay, that was the thing. We need to ensure that this just appears like that. That was a trick. Look at the door again while those arrow, while those notes were on the floor in the previous room. What you can read from the prayer is changing. Just like the road you pass is probably not safe. The sound of an open door can be heard. Okay, so now that decreases our mind by two and increases our pollution points. Pollution, mental pollution, however you want to call it. I'd rather just call it our sanity, to be honest. Our sanity um, breakdown. Okay, so there's that. Come on, just a little forward and find the rope the lovely jumping rope wait a minute jean -Croy. what's up by you is there a piece of paper linked on the rope yeah but it really is we shall read what it says once upon a time someone saw a candle she thought it was hope it's not hope however look at the candle and save if you dare so, save the game here, which is... I'll use you for now. Save keepings. And then... Guess what? Luck is not on our sides, but luckily we have ourselves a lantern light, which you get from the fireplace before the blue light... Well, the blue flame appears. So, hopefully soon we'll be able to see another wonderful one. 88. Good. Look, I know. Have I seen the hope? I have not seen the hope, and that decreased it by seven? That's weird, because the Chinese guide says it decreases it by five. Or it decreases the mind by five and increases the POSP by five. But instead, it's, in, it's done it by seven each way. Bizarre. Have I seen the hope? Not yet, but I will find it. Don't you worry, little game. I will find it and escape this realm. Don't you worry about... Okay. The next one is to do with this lovely jumping girl. 
one she gave her the jump rope and then read the Little Red Riding Hood story. Lovely. Lovely. Yep, we've already seen this. We know about this. This is not the true tale of Red Riding Hood. Yeah, this isn't the tale I want to read. No, this is not the tale that... I don't... Very much. So now you see... The girl just... Suspended in the air. Now what you want to do is interact with it. The girl is hanging to... Death. She's looking very terrible. She is looking terrible. Very terrible indeed. So now what we need to do is, it says, after the library is abnormal, wait for one minute. So I'm not sure how we can make the library abnormal. Oh, maybe read that note. Look, read that note. Curiosity sometimes can be unnecessary. So what we need to do now is just wait for this minute to transpire and then something good will happen. I think, anyways. What the heck are you doing right there, little corpses? And why was there a sound of a wolf in here that should not be here? Because, you know, we are not in a forest. We are not going to get ourselves completely obliterated by some sort of demonic hound that somehow came to be within this realm. Because, obviously, that is part of what I wish for is for there to be obstacles in a way so that our friends can escape. These are flashing for some odd reason. Yeah, the girl, the girl. Somehow all of these are girl, the boy, the girl, the girl, the boy, something like that. And now they just complete like this and have no cure over it. But what? Why is our mind at eight percent? What? Maybe this is temporary. This is not. This should not be like this. Okay, that was bizarre, that was a little weird. Oh dear, but these things are somewhat normal. But we're now at 68% mined and 32% polluted. So the next one is a bit later on. When I say a bit later on, I mean much later on. Walking through the hallways. Yeah, enjoy the serenity. I wish I could. Please not run. Fill this with your heart. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Just walk through the normal hallway, avoiding all the spooky things. That's one of the things that will do that, I believe. Oh, I've forgotten what level it was now, but now it's 36% polluted. Oh, a mine, as you would call it, so... Uh, see the illusion. I don't know why that gets me every time. Maybe it's just the sound itself. Okay, so now what we need to do is... Is... I know the passcode for this. So we've got the square key. And then we want to... Hmm. We... I don't think it's in here. Check with hands. Um, I think we need to look at this first. Take that out. Hmm. Something triggers. Yeah, there we go. Now that's blood stained. 64. That doesn't do anything. Cool. So now what we need to do is. Interact with the television. A bloodstained TV, and now this little girl is following us. And we wanted her in the first time around to just be okay. We don't want to check that because obviously that will lead to our demise. That's a thing, it will lead us to our demise, will it not? Now, so what we need to do is try and go back to the very start of this hallway and open the door. If we can do that, then we can escape, but we won't be able to escape. Hi. So that was that was 64, now it's 55. So for some odd reason it says the door's locked, that's fine. 
Do you miss the candle? In Chinese, I have no idea what that says. So it says in the television. Okay, investigating television in the premendate or premenate of the premenate. So it's P R O M E N A D. And that's just a longer version of hallway, long hallway, corridor, however you want to pronounce it. So the next um, event is a bit later on. But in order to get that particular event with that monster, you need to have this girl following you around. Which is obviously quite creepy, don't you think? You know. Who would have wanted to be followed around by such a creepy girl with red eyes? I certainly wouldn't. Maybe there's one... Actually, you know what? It's impossible for one to be behind me right now because of this webcam. Obviously, there would be signs. Obviously, it wouldn't be able to do that, you know. I'm being watched from the rear because of my webcam. I can see from the other monitor, you see. It's impossible for me to be stalked from behind. I think, anyways. <laughs> this has completely gone off track now, folk. Both of these next ones have to do with the phone. So, here in the room we don't want to go back to. So basically that's just interacting with the door when you can't escape. So, look at this note first. We've already read through that so we don't need to look at it again in long context. So now, our mind is at 55. So now, the door's locked, we just came through this, another trap. Oh, goodness sakes. I don't like it when I miss... <laughs> That's right, last time for me it did something... Did something good. Um, this is about... Zhao Q. 50, cool. That's good for us, I think. And then obviously now we need to read. Wait here, I will come to you now. I don't want you to come to me. Not at all. Sound of footsteps can be heard. Hide somewhere under. And then obviously we'll proceed through this little part. Good, we're past this little bit here. Hi. A huge painting word staring can be seen underneath it. But yes. So it was on 46. Now it's on 43. Good, we are heading in the right direction in the game. And obviously that means that we can do more to decrease our sanity. Good. Good, so 43. And then it said paint, blood... <laughs> A piece of blood-stained paper with blood death in Chinese on it. 43. And then, obviously, it goes to that. That ball that's not colored. And then now... Okay, so that decreases by two. Words on paper say, may I have a picture of you? Absolutely not, because that means our life will be expired. Which is not what we want. So now... The next one involves the howls that happened just before you enter the forest. So, yep, escaped the wonderful house, which is not really a house that is wonderful. So, go past these flowers, do that. So now, this involves, okay, that's the first one. That, and then walk past this. Okay, so the stone moved a bit, so now we need to proceed to the left. That does that. Just look at the street light. I don't think that's mandatory at all. Look at it again. So here, that again, another how, and that decreases our sanity by 6%. Even though it does that. But there's something else which I missed as well. And that's back in the house. Even though it's only one. It could still be the difference between everything. And that one happens with. 
that. What was it this? There we go. That broke a bottle. There we go, another one. So it was 37, now it's 36. So with that due in mind, our next course would be to go through the forest and actually pick the long way round. I guarantee you it's not going to be dangerous whatsoever. Short way with traps, long way but safe. Each is led to outside of the forest. I know it's a crossroad. Shortcut is dangerous, long way takes time. What's your opinion? I think the long way is better. It's much safe and nothing can be used to exchange our lives. But a lot of time will be wasted. We can be safe, away from danger, which is more positive than anything. So long way. It is our style. Don't you see? Don't you see now? Don't you see the value of Okay, so at the moment it's 36%. The long way is actually a long way. And also, if you go the short way and try to go back around to the long way, it won't show you all of this. So, you can't go that way, so the only way will be left. Decrease by five. Yeah, if you keep powering up me, uh, it doesn't really matter, you know. So, we're at 31, and there is 33 more points left in the game for us to lose. And obviously, we're at 31, which means by the end of this, we'll be at zero mind and 100%. Pollution points. Which is all good. So the next one is obviously a little bit later on. But there is a point in the game that should allow you to decrease in mind. But instead I think it's an error within the coding of the game where rather than adding pollution, it decreases pollution and adds mind. If you get what I mean. So it does the reverse of what it should do. And that's to do with the pizza with the collector so rather than giving it the pizza give it the blank plate instead you are not needed here little monster honestly you are such a waste of space okay so we've got the collector's room and i'm going to save before what i'm going to do because this will allow us to preserve our progression and not have our mind bar ruined or as in say purified by this next action so you want to talk to her and she also has a selection of names that she could be because sometimes you may play it and she has a name like bean lan but she could also have another name as well or another name if you see what i mean so it's like it's a generated name based from a selection of names that she could have I will help you, but it's not a pizza that I will bring you. So our mind is at 31. And let me show you guys what I mean by it doesn't do what it should do. Just like the coding doesn't do what it should do. No, just like the translation of the game isn't what it should be. Okay, so we'll take the empty plate. And it says here, if you take the empty plate, something very important will happen. What do you mean? I'm already on the case. So, have 31. So now, it's 38. Rather than decreasing our mind and increasing our pollution points, it does the reverse. That's why I'm going to say right now, as of the 10th of December, two, sorry, 2018, of this version of the game... Do not take the empty plate past this point. Otherwise, we will not be able to get to the hidden ending of the game. Because it always relies on the pollution points and the mine. Which obviously work with each other. But, hold on. Why? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Don't mind me. Do not mind me and my silliness. Okay, so we want to skim right past that, and we want to... Okay, he's still with us, is this... Yeah, this is still here, good. So... 
do we have the we don't have the key the door's locked good so this is the next point and obviously i showed this within the normal ending 2 video if you've watched that already and that is to proceed through hell 23 so when this red starts appearing it goes to 13 okay so this is entering the chaotic cluster or entering hell itself right here hmm no it doesn't change so on the steam guys we only won on steam which was actually a trend so a chinese um walkthrough which you can translate into english roughly if you use google translate and it does give like a pretty sort of um confusing translation but you can piece together what it's trying to say to you if you try and flip the words around um i'll provide a link to the walkthrough as well if you uh want to look at it but it won't be helpful because of that so actually instead of putting a link in the description i'll just put what it says into the description below but some of them are either mix mismatched sorry or don't happen so there should be one called uh before monster pit no not that one um escape in the middle of a don't be deceived room which is obviously the one which involves putting that red magnetama into that slot but somehow you need to escape in the middle of the room rather than the normal means of escaping through the room so obviously we need to just come back out here and we have ourselves 13 mind so the last event will be of a total of 15 go here which is one i've already prepared earlier and you need to be able to do this when our friend by you is in his little cubby hold here well not to say when he's in his little cubby hold i mean he's in the underground section but we don't want to use the thick rope to get him out because we don't want him to get out we want to be able to go back to the library and if you've already watched the normal ending 2 video then you'll know that we need to talk to the library lady but we're going to get a different response this time i became alone again we loneliness is always heavy yes we're going to get a different response this time because our pollution level is at a high enough percentage where where literally Zhao Kui won't believe by used kind of kindness in a way. And I think it's interesting if alone. But you'll see what I mean when the game goes through. Lovely, lovely times. It works when it's 85% or above the pollution points. So there's only a very few that you can miss out in terms of events that increase your pollution points. But I would say you don't miss any out at all. Not even ones that only give you like plus one. Why? So this is the girl in question. Hi, older sister. Why did you leave your partner and come here alone? After all, you think that the books are more reliant to that man come from nowhere, don't you? So it is, you don't believe him? No, I am not. You always run away from reality into books from your early age. I am not running away. Are you still chai canning? Ah, you still don't know. The f are you still chancing? I don't know. Ah, you still don't know the fundamental reason you like reading tales. The stories and tales are all created. Other stories, aren't they? You always hide yourself into stories because your real life is not good. You have no friends, no father. So you read tales about friendship or family. Enjoying the tales in main characters. View. Finding the friendship and family that you lack. After all, you are just running away from reality. You say you like to read them. You would just take them. You just take them as tools to run away. 
You are just taking them as tools of running away. Just take them as tools running away. Okay, yep. Yeah. How hollow? No, it isn't. Stop this nonsense. Pretend you, you know me a lot. Then why did you come here? Bayou was trapped and I came here for something that could help. Nothing else. I will not leave him alone and run away. Oh, really? Then let me tell you one thing. Here is not the real world. It is called Grey Fairyland. Grey Fairyland? Yes. As you can see, this fairyland is full of traps. It is a grim world that is filled with terror. Your life will probably be safe, but your mind will be polluted until the end. It's too bad. But why am I here? It is nobody else but Bayou that brought you here. What? Bayou brought me to here to the fairy dad? Sure, he knows everything from the beginning, but he hasn't told you yet, hasn't he? I will not leave you alone. Move together. Saying these but covering the truth. Don't you know? He even didn't tell you his true name, and you follow him like a fool. And it's time for you to see clearly. But really? Now you see, that's different from the normal ending too, or the true ending. Asking me such a question is it to doubt him in your heart. It seems that you're beginning to realize that he is hiding something from you. So, hiding something to you from the beginning. In this fairy land, no, even in the real world, no one is worth to trust. No, stop that. You are always alone. Shut up. You are always alone, 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 alone. No, enough. Stop that. Shut up. One step forward, but Jiaqui finds nothing. What? No one here? What was that girl? But Bayou seems really have something that is hidden to me. It is really something wrong. Shouldn't I trust him for beginning? Becoming alone again. Here no clues can be found. And I'm afraid to back to Bayou. What should I do? What can I do? You can do nothing. Our mind is broken and the pollution has become full. But you can't go back to him because the door is now locked. But there doesn't seem to be an animation sprite for Mayu trying to open a door when that sort of shadow gazes over her eyes. But this book here has changed. New words on the little red riding hood. Read it, absolutely. The wolf pretend to be grandma to eat little red riding hood. Similarly, people pretend to finish their goal. Because it's a shortcut to do things. In the real world, hypocrites are countless. They only want to do bad things. They pretend to be kind and help others. They try to gain others' trust. Or they gain other people's trust. And then betray them uncharitably do you have hypocrites around you hypocrites gain others trust and then betrayed uncharitably awful the girl said that by you is hiding something from me is he a hypocrite so there are strange places in his previous words and deeds is it really by you that drew me here his care and smile are all fake. What could I do if it's so? Ah, uh, what is this grey fairyland? Surrounded by terrible traps. I am anxious. I really do not want to die. What could I do? What could I? What could? Hmm. Hehehehe. <laughs> I got it. To move forward is dangerous. Why don't I stay here forever? Stay here forever. Everlastingly. So many books to be read after all. Thinking about it. Isn't here paradise? <laughs> How foolish I am. 
I know that simple thing that late. What am I moved forward for? After all, there's no place for me in the real world. Why should I be back through danger and be bullied? Stay here like this? Everlastingly? These books are enough for my whole life, aren't them? They are waving hands to me. I am really the happiest person in the world. <laughs> oh, how can I deal with Bayou? He is still trapped underground. But it is he that drew me here. So just let him go is the best punishment, isn't it? After all. Nah, that's the wrong word used. You two are not in a relationship. After all, he is always... Um, I don't know, manipulating me? Um, telling me, telling me lies? It's not, he is always cheating me. Jaguar says, looking at surrounding. Well, don't care for him. Just devolve myself into books. Enjoy now. This is the library that only belongs to me. This is paradise. And from now on, my new life begins. <laughs> ah, now you become the devil. Or you just become one of those failed prayers. Hidden ending. Also known as bad ending too, but we'll call it the hidden ending because it sounds better. So that, folks, is what you probably would consider as the most difficult ending to achieve in the game. Just because you need to, and I'm gonna speed this up. Just because you need to be able to get every single one of those events that increases the pollution points in the game. Because if we don't get enough, then Zhao Kui's distrust to Bayi won't be enough so that she will actually break and believe the library girl in itself. This spirit that's failed their quest to get a better life. Thank you for playing. Ah, oh, thank you for making the game. I'm not sure what that name pronounces from Chinese, but developer's name, actually. And that is the second to the last ending that I'll show. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I think, as I said in the beginning of the video, I think that the previous video that I uploaded was normal ending 2. And the next one now is going to be the true ending of Feather of Prey. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll be seeing each other in the next and final video of Feather of Prey. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.